is it shaking? Yep, I gotta go it's back. Shaking? No, I can't is do it? it. I can't go out. Here, take it. So I ran away from the scene. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Wonder with Wong. Right now, we're at Peito Lake. Little Lake is part of the Jasper Park, so we just arrived here. The weather today is actually very, very cold. It's around like 45 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, I don't know, in degrees Celsius. Anyway, this is in degrees Celsius. We are walking on the lake, so yeah, let's go. This is the first viewpoint, also known as the main viewpoint of Peter Lake. The trailhead is well signposted and starts right from the car park. The path is paved all the way and is a short hike, only 10 to 15 minutes. But be prepared for an uphill climb. But trust me, the effort is worth it. Update. We walked the wrong way. Okay, make sure you make the right turn or you're just going to be walk walking to, to the this bus. Parking, parking lot for, for no the reason. Bus. <laughs> oh my god. So we hiked oh, yeah. out. Back down, back down the steep trail. Here we go. Update, do not make a left here. You make sure you go right. Yeah, why did we decide to make a left yeah. turn? When you get out from the parking lot, do not make, do not make a left. the wooden platform you'll have a panoramic view of the lake and the surrounding mountains. The lake is known for its beauty blue-green color which is caused by rock flower, fine particles of rock that are suspended in the melt water from glaciers. So we were trying our way to find a way to go down but apparently we cannot go down. I don't know but we see people down there so it's a little bit confusing. How did they get down? I think there? you can go down but it's a very steep climb yeah. down. Because here it's just so crowded, like you can get to see only a little of the lake. I mean, it's like a taking deck. picture is not easy as well because you're high up from the lake. But it's like it's, a deck area. Yeah, it's, it's a nicely, deck area. Nicely built. It's pretty, it's very pretty, I have to say. After wandering around the platform for a while, we ran into some tourists who were below the platform and asked them how to get there. Instead of taking the main trail, you can walk out into the woods on the right hand side before reaching the fence, which leads to an opening area. This way, you are able to take lots of pictures without crowds and obstructions. After a quick visit to Peto Lake, we drove around an hour 10 minutes to our next destination, which is Columbia Icefield Glacier Adventure. We'll be starting our journey at the Columbia Icefield Glacier Discovery Center. This is where you'll want to park your car and grab your tour tickets. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this tour, so make sure to book your tickets in advance and reserve a tour time. Next to the ticket booth, there is a map that explains the tour information, but don't worry, I'll give you a detailed explanation in a bit. As soon as we arrived, we had about 45 minutes to spare before our tour was set to begin, since we bought our tickets in advance, so we decided to check out the cafe and restaurant on site. The restaurant serves a variety of meals and snacks including sandwiches, soups, salads, and hot entrees. They also offer a selection of desserts, coffee, and other beverages. But the best part, they had a selection of local beers. My friends and I decided to try them out and let me tell you, it was a great decision. The beers were so unique and interesting, definitely worth trying if you're ever in the area. So if you're ever at the Columbia Icefield Glacier Discovery Center and have some time to spare, be sure to check out the restaurant. They have something for everyone and the local beers are a must try. 3.45 p.m. was our tour departure time. We headed to the tour departure point where you board a bus that will take you to the Columbia Ice Field. The bus ride is beautiful and you see some amazing mountain scenery as you make your way to the ice field. Once you arrive at the Columbia Ice Field, you'll board an Ice Explorer, a specially designed vehicle that can safely take you to the Athabasca Glacier, which is one of the most visited glaciers in North America. The Columbia Ice Field was formed during the last ice age, which began around 110,000 years ago and ended around 11,700 years ago. During this time, the area was covered by a thick ice sheet that slowly flowed downhill, carving out valleys and shaping the landscape we see today. On the way to the glacier surface, we drove through a very steep terrain. It felt just like riding on a roller coaster. But despite how scary it was, it was also incredibly exciting. I couldn't help but feel a rush of adrenaline as we navigated the rugged terrain. 
But the reason we have this little pool here is to try and wash the dirt and mud off our tires. Uh. So that we don't mess around with the albedo effect. The albedo effect is essentially how well objects absorb and retain heat. That crack. You can see the ice. And we often find mill wells at the like intersecting that. point of crevasses. Are you okay? A uh, little windy, a little cold. Okay. Check it out here. Is your I got the view up? though, pretty good. Got the view. That's where we came up from, that place. There's a there. blue view. Yeah. It's like up until there. I would recommend um, boots of some sort. Yeah, that's not like proper shoes for these ice players here. Alright, let's go find some 100, what is it, the 100 year old water. Alright, now we're going to collect some uh, water that's supposed to take 10 years off your life. Well, we had to go there. We have to go there. This is too far. You got it? We definitely had so much fun on the glacier, but it's important to remember that the temperature on the glacier can be much colder than in the surrounding area. So it's crucial to dress warm, such as wearing gloves, a scarf, and a beanie. Consider waterproof clothing and shoes because the glacier is a wet and slippery environment. In case you want to enjoy the glacier water, bring some empty bottles. Lastly, bring a camera. The views from the glacier are absolutely beautiful and unique and you'll want to capture memories of your visit. We've already left. Glacier? Glacier Pops. And we're now on the bus going to the Skywalk. We just hop off the bus. Finally, we're here at the Glacier Skywalk. So from here, we can actually see it. It's right there. The Columbia Icefield Skywalk is part of the Columbia Icefield Glacier Adventure. As far as I understand, you cannot come to this place without purchasing the whole tour. Uh, they tell you how safe it is, how thick it is, what the bolts are to make See? it feel better. Yeah, how thick <laughs> it is. How, See? Yeah. Three glasses. How thick okay. The bolt is. Yeah. So you see. Fine. All right here. Huh? Right here. I made it. Not right here. <laughs> no, no. No, it's this way, sir. Oh, boy. Look it down. Look down. <laughs> what? Okay. Go. Keep going. Take video of you from the cement part. Got it. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I, I'm gonna go. You take it. You take it. You take it. <laughs> Come down. Look down. Look down. Yeah. Ooh, is it shaky? Yep, I gotta go back. No, I can't is do it? it. I can't go out. Here, take it. Someone ran away from the scene. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> the skywalk itself is a U-shaped glass bottom walkway that extends out over a cliff face, providing incredible views of the glacier and the surrounding mountains. The walkway is built on stilts and is made of steel and glass, so you can see right through it the valley below. It's 
actually a little bit scary because it's quite shaky this bridge but I have to trust that this is strong enough to for us to walk on it. The entire tour takes about 4 to 5 hours and concludes with a return bus ride that comes every 25 minutes, bringing us to the starting point. And that's a wrap on our Alberta travel vlog. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on our journey through this beautiful province. As always, thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment if you have any doubts, questions or even compliment on my video. And subscribe to our channel for more travel vlogs and adventures.